Hi, I'm Doug Lamblom from the Dickinson Research Extension Center at Dickinson, North Dakota. This is a branch station of North Dakota State University. I'm standing in a field of cover crop that was seeded on the uh, 30th of June uh, of this year, 2012. And we've gotten some pretty good growth and so I'd like to walk through uh, some of the uh, the plants that are in this diverse seeding as a cover crop. There, it's a seven-way cover crop mix. It's pretty obvious. You can see the sunflowers that are standing up here were seeded at about two pounds per acre. Um, the other crop that's in here is called everleaf oat. You probably look right here in the camera. You can see this is an everleaf oat that's that's seeded here in the field. The other thing that's of interest and everleaf oat seeded at about 20 pounds per acre. We also have. Um, hairy vetch in the in the seeding and that's that's this little plant right here in some cases we might see some bright uh, purple flowers on that there's none on this particular plant right here and then we've got uh, three different uh, varieties of, of uh, brassicas and you can kind of see them here in, in the in the foreground the uh, Winfred forage rape uh, an Ethiopian cabbage and a hunter leaf turnip and these are kind of right in here another one over there some over here as you can see in the video uh, the other thing that's that's interesting in here uh, we have a an areca pea as well it's been seeded in here and uh, that's about the extent of the crops the the idea here is to build soil uh, integrity to increase the number of roots underground as well as the above ground biomass and the cattle that are in the background that you see in this video will eventually come into this field and begin to graze these cover crops and this is this is a forage crop that's been seeded for for grazing here at the center. Um, in a future video we'll tell you about the kind of gains and performance that we had in the cattle in this project. And this is Doug Lamblon reporting from the Dickinson Research Extension Center.